Hi, uh, it was requested of me by Juicy Couture0808 to do an updated um, my 10 favorite lip products video. This is definitely overdue because it's been about two years since I've done my last one and my tastes have changed um, both in color, in quality product, and prices. Um, so some of them are more expensive but I've just learned for myself personally that um, it's worth it to spend a little bit more for a quality product and then there's also some drugstore ones because that's not the case in all of them that um, sometimes you get a great product for a lot less <laughs> so uh, let's get started I will start with um, the chapstick lip treatment things um, my favorite one that I use often especially during the winter time is by Seal Biglow which you can get at Bath and Body Works stores and it's the Soothing Lip Buffer Gentle Formula. I'm pretty sure this was in my last video and it's still a favorite of mine. Um, there's sugar crystals in this that exfoliate your lips and take off any dead or dry skin. So it's wonderful and your lips stay soft all year round if you use this and it's just really nice. Um, a lot of lip glosses and um, lipstick they just look bad if you have really, really chapped lips. So this helps um, buff it out first and keeps them really soft and nice looking. The next one that was definitely in my last one that I still love um, is also by Seal Bigelow. And it is... I can't see it. Okay. The Spearmint Mentha Lip Shine. Mint infused for fresh breath. And this is a lip gloss and um, it also freshens your breath so that's perfect because I love that. Um, I love to have stuff on my lips all the time when I go out and um, after dinner this is great because it just keeps your breath fresh which is perfect. And next one I'm in love with. I got it um, in the tub of it but then I found that they have it in lip gloss form and that was one of the best days of my life. Not really, um, but it was a good one. It's the Coors Lip Butter. And um, this is the, the gloss one, I guess. I used the treatment for the last year, which is just, um, it's like chapstick in a tub, but it, it's not that sanitary. I mean, I don't mind because I'm the only one using it, but I love it. This is the Jasmine Moisturizing one. So it's a lip gloss with a very, very slight tint to it which is not very much. Um, this is the jasmine flavor. I got this from Sephora and it's ten dollars I believe but they last for a really long time and this makes my lips softer than anything. Um, I use this instead of chapstick now because you get a nice um, color and gloss to your lips but it also makes them very very soft and softer than most chapsticks that I've used so I think it's worth it to just get this all in one. Just get problem taken care of in one step. Um, next one is lip glosses. I had this in my last video and it's amazing. Revlon um, in Lilac Pastel and it's just um, a really nice lip gloss with, I don't even know if you can see it, it's a really vibrant color um, but there's no shimmer to this. It's um, a really creamy matte color um, so it's it makes your lips soft and the color is just really nice because there's no shimmer to it. Um, I'm, as I'm getting older, I'm not liking as much shimmer to my glosses. Um, these next two do have it, but I've had them for a long time. The more recent ones that I've been buying um, don't have as much gloss to them because I just don't like that look as much anymore. Um, a lip gloss that I love is by MAC. It's a MAC Dazzle Glass and this one is in Baby Sparks. I don't know if it'll pick it up. No, it won't. This has a really, really nice um, blue undertone to it, which is really good with pinks. Um, lip glosses with blue reflex in it actually make your teeth look a little bit whiter. It doesn't change the color of them, but it changes people's perception of them. <laughs> so if you have an issue with that, um, definitely get a lip gloss, preferably pink, with um, blue undertone and flex to it like you can kind of see um, and it'll help make your teeth look a little bit whiter which is always fun and this one I've had forever but I love it 
It's by MAC and it's a luster glass. And this is Love Nectar. And it's also a pink, but it's kind of a deepy berry pink. Oh, it's not showing up that well. Um, with some gold reflex in it, which um, is also very pretty with most um, skin tones. So this one is very pretty. It's more of a deep pink with um, some gold to it, which is really pretty. It's like, it looks pearlish almost. You can't really tell, but it definitely has some shine to it like a pearl. Um, lipsticks. Really been into lipsticks too. <clears throat> All-time favorite lipstick. It's so expensive, so I don't use it all the time, but I love it. It is the YSL. You know, it's called Rouge Volup in number one. And the coolest thing about this is it's really pretty. It's made out of gold. But the, my favorite thing is that there's a mirror on it. Which is awesome. So, pop the cap off. Put your can look at what you're doing and put your lipstick on really nice in the car or wherever you are don't have a mirror this color number one is a, just a gorgeous pink um, and this also works just as well as most chapsticks that I've had this is the most moisturizing lipstick I have ever tried I would repurchase this again um, not many at a time because it's really really expensive but it's the best lipstick I've ever tried and it just is so moisturizing that it lasts for a long time and the color lasts for a long time as well. So it's definitely worth it if you have the money to splurge on this. I would go for it. This is the YSL Rouge for Lip um, Lipstick in number one. Next one I have on right now is by MAC. And this is Cream Sheen in Creme de Nude. And it's just a really nice flat nude color. Um, kind of pinky-ish. Um, for my skin tone, it's great because there's not a lot of yellows. I prefer more um, pink face lipsticks just because it matches me better. Um, but this is a pretty one. Not bad. I have this on with um, the Coors Lip Butter, which is also a pinkish color. A very, very faint pink light pink color so together with the nude with this it's just a really really pretty neutral lip um, this isn't too bad most nude lipsticks that I've tried I find to be really really drying on my lips but this one wasn't bad at all um, it's not anything like the creamy um, YSL one but it's definitely good um, the next one is a MAC one as well and it's a luster and it's in high tea and um, it just delivers a really, really pretty neutral sheen to it that you can wear with any eye look or any makeup that you've got on. So this is also very creamy and high tea. This is, I would say, a very, very universal lipstick. One of the most universal ones that I have in that I've got friends with completely different eye, skin, and hair colors that I've tried it and they absolutely love it. I've given this as birthday gifts to friends as well and they use it all the time they love it so it works with anybody and then another one that I like is a drugstore one. Oh, this is the last one I guess um it's by Rimmel and it's the moisture renew in 640 summer angel I mentioned this in a video a couple months ago looks like this and it's a really pretty um, neutral color as well um, not that moisturizing but the color is really pretty and for a drugstore lipstick you could just experiment with all the different colors I really really like this one um, I have a few other ones in it I have it in the coral and in the red but these are just ones that I use every day they're not ones that I like because I can't show off my whole collection in a video um, but that one's good and I'm gonna throw in an 11th because I don't know if you can still buy it anywhere but I use it every day And it is by MAC, and it is the Naked Honey Skin Cell. And I've had this for, oh gosh, a year and a half. Use it every day, and I've only gone through that much of it, which is not bad. I actually gave this as a Christmas present to a friend of mine. Um, 
Christmas because it works really well. You can use it anywhere um, on your hands. Sorry, my hair is bothering me. You can use it on your hands if they're really dry, your elbows, your knees. I've just used it on my lips and I keep it at my bed and I put it on every night as like a lip treatment type thing. There's quite a bit in here. It's um, 1.41 ounces, which doesn't sound like a lot, but there's a lot of product in here. And this is one of the best moisturizing um, things I've used. I use the cores um, in the container and this every other night. I alternate between them and they really, really help keep my lips soft every day. And those are um, all of my lip things. I still use Vaseline, but that's kind of a given to use stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so this is my video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.